Are you ready? Yeah. You Are ready? you excited? Oh, I'm so ready. I'm speechless. Perhaps the greatest happiness in life is knowing that we are loved. And if there's anything better than being loved, it's the miracle and the ability to love someone else. Unconditionally, without reservation. I've been searching, searching to find my way. Find the path you've been traveling on. What makes today so important for the life of Tori and Andrew are the promises they're making. <laughs> Hi! Always to be there for each other. So and to make public their wedding vows. To have and to hold. For better or for worse. Scary, perhaps. But Tori and Andrew, I just sense it's another day in paradise. I feel hope in the strength of our love. Two hearts beating, one dream, they wouldn't trade it for anything. Okay. We're good now. Are your nerves gone? Yeah. Mine have left the building for now. Mama Stu walks in. She looks at me with this kind of gleam in her eye and she says, can we talk? Everything okay? Yeah, everything's okay. I want to be the first to tell you that you're going to be the father of twins. I didn't have that reaction. Even though you're becoming a Robinson today, you will always be a Stuart in your heart. We will always be known as the Stuart twins and we'll always be TNT. The girl turns to me and hands me this creation in a pink blanket. A pink blanket. Congratulations, Mr. Stuart. You are the father of a daughter. She turns and hands me another pink blanket. Now, this pink blankets are, are starting to wear on me a little bit, but I'm standing there in a surreal moment with Tori Francis Stewart in my left arm, Taylor I do declare on my right arm. And we sat there for a minute and it came about. And all of a sudden I looked down and here's Tori looking at me, those big beautiful brown eyes and as though she's like and saying to me, I cannot wait for that dance in August. I wouldn't miss it for the world. Terry, get yourself together. <laughs> Growing up, people always ask you who your hero is, your role model, someone who inspires you. And depending on what season you're in, that person changes. But my person has always been the same. Tori, you've played a lot of roles in my life. My womb mate. <laughs> that was really good. Thanks, Mom. But honestly, Tori, the most important role you have in my life is that you were my hero. We've conquered a lot together in the last 25 years, and I can't wait to conquer more with you. You too, Andrew. We were in the B200 wing, walking to class, and I was quizzing you to help you prepare for a test. Little did you know, I also needed a date to the freshman year homecoming dance. When I asked you to the dance, I was nervous, anxious, but excited all at the same time which sounds a whole hell of a lot like I feel today. I can't help but think how proud our 15-year-old selves would be. People often talk about how difficult relationships are, but I honestly cannot relate. Some say love is hard, yet ours is the easiest, most special thing I've ever experienced. I know that day was the start of something special, but what I didn't realize was that something special was the beginning of a journey with my future wife. You're the man and husband I've been praying for since I was a little girl. I vow to cherish every single day that I have with you, as long as we are both on this earth. I want you to know that how honored, blessed, and privileged I am that even through all my imperfections, you still choose me every single day. When this life is over, my soul will continue to follow you 
wherever you go because a lifetime with you is simply not enough time. I sat down and tried to describe Andrew. <laughs> oh boy, it was so easy. He is the most consistent man I know. <laughs> I've been waiting 13 years to make this speech. I mean, come on. Fast forward a few years uh, after we met, and Andrew and I were fortunate enough to go to Ohio State together. One night, <laughs> He tells me, yeah, I mean, we do this thing where we write each other letters. Each one of the envelopes is labeled something like, open this if you feel sad, open this if you feel happy. This is when he tells me that he loves Tori. And not only does he know that he's going to marry her, I'm going to be the best man. And he already has an idea how he's going to propose. He tells me about this proposal idea, and he says his idea is to give her one of these unopened envelopes when he proposes, hand it to her. And he pulls out this envelope, and it says, open this if you ever have doubts. Now, keep in mind that we are several adult beverages in at this point. It's been an emotional conversation already, and this guy wants to drop the most romantic shit I've ever heard in my life. Ten years that you guys have been dating, a lot has changed. But then there was always Andrew. Someone so consistent and so reliable for our family. Someone our family turned to even in our darkest times. And if there was any sort of list of reasons on why I know you'll be the best husband to my sister, it's, it's that I trust you with her heart. In that moment, I decided to text Tori. Here it is. at. Uh... On Monday, September 1st, 2014, 2.57 a.m. I said, I can't tell you why, but there's not one human being that is more fit to be with you than Andrew Robinson. <laughs> and I was right. I got it right. I think we can all say that this has been a long 10 years coming. So let's raise our toast to the newlyweds, Mr. and Mrs. Robinson.